Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer XHD tow bar on a 2019 Newmar Ventana. Now when choosing a tow bar for your flat tow vehicle, you want to make sure that it has the capacity to be able to handle the weight of the vehicle. And our Suburban is about 5,800 pounds. And so you want something that's really going to be able to support that. And that's where our XHD comes into play. This is rated pretty high with a weight capacity of 10,500 pounds. And more and more, we're seeing larger vehicles becoming flat tow vehicles. So for a Suburban, or if you plan on moving up to even a larger vehicle, this tow bar will do just the job and keep you nice and safe. Now it's got a lot of nice features. Uh, things that you really want from a tow bar are gonna be the non-binding feature. And that way, when you have your tow bar locked out and you're ready to unhook the vehicle, you don't have to worry about being on flat ground. You can simply push this and that will be able to draw the arms in. Whereas some of your binding tow bars, you really have to put quite a bit of force or be on a perfect level ground. Now some other features that are really nice that you don't see on some other tow bars are going to be your integrated safety cables here. Just kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner. Same with this little arm. This allows you to put your umbilical or even any of your other components on here and it's going to keep it a little bit cleaner because as you see some flat tow setups there's a lot going on and so keeping it all nice and tight is great not only going down the road but also for storage. Now this specific tow bar is for Roadmaster base plates and that's going to allow you to have this attachment point to be able to go directly to your Roadmaster base plate. Now when you reach your campsite and you're ready to unhook your towed vehicle, it's going to be pretty easy here. You have your spring-loaded pins to get your safety cables off. You're just going to push this in and undo it from your safety chain loops. With the Roadmaster style, you'll see you just have this pin. Now, being that it's not in binding means that it's going to be nice and easy. I'm just going to push my release button here, and that's going to take this tension off here so I can easily pull out our pins. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of our components unhooked here. And when we want to fold this up pretty easy, we have our bracket here where it's got a spot for our pin. So we just fold this down. Now, something that you'll see here is there is a rise and lower position. I have it in our rise position, so it's going to be a little backwards, but when flipped around, super easy, just the same as this. You're just going to put that over, and as you lift this up, that pin's going to go in place, and that's going to hold it. Now, in its folded and stowed position, it's really nice that we do have all of our kind of cables nice and tight with our brackets. It keeps everything really compact. You don't have your wires going everywhere. But if you really want to protect your tow bar, it's a big investment, obviously. And if you plan on leaving it on the back of your RV while not flat towing, there's a cover from Demco that allows you to put that over here. It's going to protect it from, um, you know, any road grime that you might see along the road. It's a nice vinyl, so it's going to hold up long term and it just looks really good and keeps everything in place. Now, there's five main components when flat towing a vehicle that are going to be required. And the first one is going to be on the vehicle side, and that's going to be your base plate. And the base plate is going to attach to the frame of the vehicle or at least a structural support to be able to have our arms which will make the connection point to our tow bar. And our tow bar is going to be the second component, and that's going to be the connection point between the vehicle and the hitch on the RV. Now, we also have our safety chain loops with our safety cables here. So in case of an accidental disconnect, we still have an attachment point to hold this all together. Now, if that does fail, we do have a breakaway switch here for our braking system that will pull this pin and bring the vehicle to a stop. Our braking system is also going to slow and stop the vehicle as we apply the brakes on the RV. We also have our diode wiring, and that's going to transmit our light signals from the RV via the seven pole to our six pole. And that way you have lighting functions of running lights, brake lights, as well as our turn signals, keeping you safe and legal. And that was a look at the eTrailer XHD tow bar on a 2019 Newmar Ventana.